Hey guys, it's me Dolphinatic and welcome to week 7 of the Pokemon Premier League. I'm really sorry it's late and I'm going to have to cut the intro short because basically me and Alex were battling. Luckily, well, unluckily we disconnected. Luckily, it was uh, um, turn 3. So it should be easy enough to recreate um, barring crypts and crap and, and whatnot. So, yeah, basically we're playing Alex Onesie Bayonet. Now, we know each other's teams now. Um, because we've obviously seen them. Um, but that doesn't really make too much of a difference. I have Heliolisk, Weavile, Aramis, Megabro, Heatran, Fortress, because basically I'm shitting myself, because he's got all of the, all of the fucking wall breakers in his team. Um, but yes, yeah, Staraptor, Hariyama, Uxie, Skarm, Nidoking, Mega Ampharos. So he's got Mega Ampharos, Staraptor, and Nidoking on his team. And I'm just like, oh. Right, like, 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 what, what, okay, what, what do I, what do I switch in? What I've realised now is, because, uh, you'll, well, basically, what happened was, um, he brave birded with his Staraptor, uh, against my Aromatisse. Now, I need to re like, figure out what item it is, for, for many reasons, um, I, I now realise it's important I get my Mega Slowbro and Mega Revolt. I'm especially defensive, which sucks. Um, I have got physically defensive. Uh, what's it called? Um, Fortress, that's the one. So we both played Ball Switch here, basically. But that Mega Ampharos changes everything, so Straptor. OU choice band, reckless, and oh my god, this thing is so freaking scary, man! Mega Slowbro, Crypt Spears, week six. I don't think I've actually imported my sets, which sucks. Um, so that's turn one. I go into my room, TC, clicks Volt Switch, goes into Staraptor. I protect to scout and to uh, get left able to cover as well. Then we're good to go from there. I actually think I've done the exact same amount of damage as the uh, other one did. Um. Okay. Brave Bird. Oh my god! It does 56 to 67% to Mega Slowbro. Uninvested. That's max HP, zero defense. It's basically all of the recoil. So I don't think I can actually switch in my Mega Slowbro and live. I can, unless it's a crit. Uh, what I can go into is... Well, Fortress. I'm just going to do 78%. I'm going to have to start sacking things off, aren't I? Although, I have got Heatran. Uh, 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 uh. I am offensive, though. Max HP. Brave Bird still does 54%. Oh my god, I have no switch-ins. I should have prepped hard for this. Never mind. There's the Brave Bird. I just have to kind of play around this thing. That's Choice Banded, and that freaking sucks. So hard. I kind of want to get my rocks up. I think he knows that I get a free... I'm gonna put my... I'm gonna click rocks here. I know he's just gonna take me out. I have no switch-ins for this thing. So Fortress is gone. This is not going well. I can't get my rocks up for the game, which sucks. I 
here comes Sweeney. This is where we obviously can ice shard and, and kill. I am adamant max attack. Um, but he is going straight into Harry Ammon. So out speed, so he's not scarfed. He draws. There's the Harry Ammon. Okay, so I predicted that right. Now I'm going to have to click Toxic. Mega Revolve and click Toxic. He stays in. Which is very interesting. Toxic to me, okay. So Mega Bro is Toxic. So he's actually out prepared me, or out predicting me here. Now he's, he's got to be thick fat. He's, he's going to have to switch out as well, I feel. Switch toxic again. The draws, don't go into Skarm. Don't go into Skarm. Ooksie, there it is. Double toxic predictions. Great. Now, is he going to reveal Heal Bell to me? I'm obviously slower. He's not got the leftovers. Puts up his rocks. Oh, I haven't got a spinner anymore, of course. Okay, Weavile has now just become that much more important. Probably should have just bought it in. Although Adam Sandler, you know, slightly spooky. Now he's probably going to go into Skarm, actually. Potentially, no, oh, but he doesn't have to default, does he? Of course. Um, I put HP Grass on that thing, didn't I? Because I was scared of... Man, Harry Emma's a huge threat. It really stops a lot of my things. switch into this thing. I am carrying Dark Pulse. Slow U-turn. I'm getting absolutely destroyed here. This is going to be Nido King. Yep, that's Nido King. I'm going to go into De Blob. I have to. I'm going to have to scout whether he's Life Orb or not. If he's Life Orb, then Weebar's going to come in. There's Earth Power. Okay, I've done a lot. Now to scout and see whether he is indeed life or or choice in some way. He's gone for Earth Power again. He's going to reveal the sludge wave. Is he going to reveal the sludge wave now? That's the real question. No, it'll probably take me out judging on how much that earth power done. So I'm just going to click wish. I have to. There you go. He's playing so well. Okay. Yeah, this is turning into a problem.
No more wish support for me either. Which is spooky. Let's click knock off. He does withdraw. So whatever he wants to go into, it's fine by me. Adam Sandler was the obvious switch, but once this thing's gone, I can basically claim lives. That's all I need, and I now have to play really carefully with this thing. Whirlwind! Oh god. Mm -mm -mm. It's okay, this thing's losing more and more health each turn. It pretty much resists all of my stab. I'm gonna click Lava Plume. Still not over, but it's still a very unfavorable position for me. I knew Hariyama would be coming, but I didn't realize it'd be this much of a problem. Now he obviously doesn't know what set I am yet. If I had rocks up as well, this would be so much easier. Now I know that once once Skarm and Hariyama are gone, and if I have Weavile alive, I win. It's just down to a matter of fact whether I can wear him down enough. Just be noting this guy's moves down. He is Whirlwind and Toxic. I would expect Bullet Punch. Draws, okay. That's also fine. If he has HP ground, um, I don't mind. I wish I clicked Earth Power there. That might have been kind of nice, actually. No burn, though, which sucks. Earth Power. Obviously, get out of speed. That does good damage, good damage. Fix blast hits. I'm a salt vest. We live in. Now the question is: Is he going to make the switch into Staraptor? I think I'm going to have to click Lava Bloom because this thing outspeeds Mega Bro. I don't think I lose as much by losing I'm playing so bad or he's just playing so well. I really think he might go into Staraptor or Scar and predicting the Earth Power. Stays in! You bastard! Can I get the burn? No burn. This is not good. Heatran. Gone. Amphros is, is weak. So, you're weak. Your half. And your half. It really hurts that I couldn't get rocks up.
Slowly running out of switches. I have to keep going for Weavile though. Let's click knock off, he'll probably live this. He's probably done the calcs. I just want a kill. All my losses have been so close this season. He does withdraw, and Adam Sandler comes in. No! He sacks off the Ampharos, which is interesting, actually. Okay, we got a kill. That's one for Weavile. Ampharos is gone. Which makes it that much harder for him. There's Adam Sandler. There it is. Britney Spears is coming out. It's the obvious play, but it's the safest play I have. He's going to click Whirlwind, isn't he? Close combat this time. Okay. So the safest thing I can do here is sadly click slack off. Um, I've stalled him out of toxic. If he wants to bring in Nido King, that's fine. Because I'm especially defensive, I might be able to take it. Well, there's the Staraptor. No. Now, I will live a hit, actually. Uh, actually, I might die to a hit. I have to click. To, I have to click sidekick. I have to take this thing out. I think this might be the first biggest loss, or the biggest loss of the season for us. I just did so much damage. I just couldn't. Uh, Staraptor's gone. Not why I want to see die. Really, because it was something I could handle relatively easy. I just need that Harry Ammer and Skarmory to die. Adam Sandler comes in. There's still a chance. Well, not much of a chance, but still, there's a chance. I'm going to make a Hyper Voice. I guess Fake Out, which is fine. Didn't do too much. Actually benefits me more, I think. Now, if he goes into Nido King, I'll be very happy. He stays in. Is that going to be enough? No, it's not. And that seals the game for him, basically. All he has to do is go into Scarm. Okay, who got Toxic off? That's another kill for Mega Bro, isn't it? Harry Am is dead. Heliolisk, it's the first game you haven't got a kill in ages, son. What's going on here? There's the Skarmory. Right, I have to hope for an Icicle Crash of Lynch, basically, to win this game. Well, we hit, which is good. I might even have to wish for, like, three. Oh, there's no flinch there. That's a good game, Alex. That was a really quick game. 
Too many wall break too many wall breakers. Too many wall breakers, man. <laughs> it was so close like despite him going miles and miles, storming ahead. If I'd have got rid of Hariyama and Skarm, it would have been game. It would have been game. It just would have been. Um, so that's a shame. It's a shame. But the win, the streak is over. That's fine. Next week, though, that that's the game. That's the game I'm looking forward to. Uh, where it's me versus the stream. Sorry, Alex is messaging me. Good game, Alex. I didn't play very well at all. Um, well, I say that... Um, I don't think there was just much I could do, really. <laughs> because when you see Choice Band Staraptor. It's, it's, it's just scary. So anyway, guys, sorry. Alright, getting distracted. Let's get back to this. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Unfortunately, it wasn't a win like the last two weeks. Um. It is a shame. It's a shame it didn't work out as it was meant to. But hey, three wins, four losses isn't bad. We've still got four games left. We're still only three points ahead of, um, what is it, the relegation playoff? But the kill death ratio is our kill death difference. It's so much better. Plus, we've got people below us in the league. Um, so yeah, we're, we're fine. We're fine chilling there with a loss. It doesn't matter too much. Good game, Alex. Um, I knew it'd be scary because Alex's team is a team of four breakers. Excuse me. Um, and I simply had no defense for it. But on to building for my game versus Shroom. Shroom, I know you're unbeaten this season, but I am coming for you, dude. I'm more confident for your team. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.